Terra HQ. This may be your huh? only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We must uh, have blueprints to the ship's we're computer. Going to sandwich run. You in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box oh data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. Alright, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. Regular. Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be. If she doesn't. Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The code. Say regular. She's like, what's the regular? I'm all the way back up here. The code should be oh, two six seven nine. The regular is just a ham and cheese. Okay. You just say ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Okay. Seek fluid intake. Jesus Christ, those two never stop arguing. Whoa. Hello. What? What are you? you? What the hell? Um. Why did a fish just land in my pod? Okay. Cooked paper? That what these things are? It's all paper, huh? The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Mm. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly how it's done. Okay. Great, great, great. Okay. Seek fluid intake. Oh, screw you. Vital signs stabilizing. Anyway, let's actually real quick. Hmm. Peeper. A fast prey fish encountered in shallow waters and rich in protein. Number one. Developed side facing eyes. The septic eyes, as I like to call Capable of discerning colors not just in shallow waters, but in a variety of lighting conditions. It is also able to close its eyelids, thus preventing light from ref reflecting off the lenses and rendering the peeper almost invisible to nighttime predators. Hmm. From two powerful fins, this species has evolved powerful fins which enable rapid acceleration in still water. And the ability to leap meters into the air to avoid pursuits. Number three, beak. Likely used to break down corals and tough vegetation. An unusually large nasal cavity serves no obvious purpose. It appears to be specifically evolved to detect a single specific enzyme. Nothing encountered on the planet so far produces a matching color, a matching odor. Number four, expulsion tubes. The tubes attached to the peeper's torso are connected directly to its stomach and gills, and appear to be designed to expel its contents on demand. Purpose unclear. Hmm. While the peeper is well adapted to survive in shallow waters, a number of its features serve no discernible purpose. It would appear to be just as well suited to survive in deeper waters, and it's somewhat more intelligent than the usual small herbivore. Interesting. Edible, high calorie count for the research required. Hmm. Okay, and we have this high security terminal captain's quarters. Before they walk in the occasions, Altera HQ uploaded their blueprints to the Aurora's main computer. There's a high security terminal inside the captain's quarters, located behind the prawn bay, from which the blueprints should be accessible. The code is 2679. Right, so we're definitely going to have to go back to the Aurora, but I have to make a laser card first. Oh, we still have the whole thing on the pod 4, which I completely messed up last time that I went out to the Aurora. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. What do I need to make your titanium ingot? Sweet. I'm all coming back to here. 
I'm just always checking to see if there's anything I've missed. Because in the past, there has been stuff that I've missed. Which kind of pisses me off. Doesn't look like I've missed anything from here. So that's awesome. That's terrific. What the hell am I doing? I literally just need... I just need some creep mine. That's all I really needed. Alright. Sweet. Pretty much have everything we need. Oh, sweet! I think that's about all we need. Ah, dang. Okay, now I can make more fiber mesh. That's what I need, right? Wait, what do I need again? Did I really get these damn things mixed up? Oh my god. Seriously? Wait. Wait, 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 hold on. There's no way I got these things mixed up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, shit. What am I doing? I'm getting so lost right now. I can finally make a power cell. Excellent. And now I can make the mole vehicle bay. Oh hell yeah. Damn, it takes a while. Alright! Finally! Let's do this! Oh, sweet! Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Vehicles... Team Up and Cyclops, okay. Ooh. Oh, I think I can make this, actually. I just need another titanium ingot, another power cell, two glass, lubricant, and lead. I'm pretty sure I have the means to make... Well, most of that. Wait, another radio message? Get the shit in me. Okay, I think I have enough titanium to make another ingot. I do not think I have two more batteries. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I think I might be able to make another battery, though. I think I still have two glass, maybe. I can always get more easily. I'm pretty sure I can get more lubricant. And I definitely have lead. Hmm. Oh. I sure hope that thing didn't float away. Alright, let's go check out what the radio message is. Hopefully we'll get the steam off soon. Yeah, what is it? This is Officer Keen in Life Pod 19. Life Pod 19? The captain is gone. I might have assumed command. Okay. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. Hmm. We group one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay ah. together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission uh. origin coordinates downloaded. Seriously? Signal location uploaded to PDA. Really? More corrupted coordinates? 
That doesn't seem right. Wait, so where is it? Huh. That's weird. Unless... This time it actually tells me? That's the Aurora entrance. It does! Wait! Whoa! Lightpod 19, second Officer Keen's last broadcast location. Over 1,100 meters from the pod, and 300 meters down. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm definitely not going there anytime soon. Not until I get the steam off. Even then, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Let me see what I can do, though. What do I currently have in here? Oh. I do not have enough titanium. That's not good. I don't have enough titanium to make another ingot. Well, on the bright side, there is plenty of scrap metal around that I know I can find. And let's go searching for that. What the hell is this? the Aurora. Well, might not be too bad of an idea. Ha! Give me that damn scrap metal. If I remember correctly, it makes 14. I think I might need two pieces of scrap metal. Now I'm being enough. There's scrap metal literally lying around everywhere. Huh. Man, it's dark. Anything in here? Wait a second, what's that? Oh, that's a fragment for the sea lord. Aha! Thirty seconds. I don't care. I got plenty of oxygen. Do I look like I care? Watch this. Boom! can make more titanium. Nice. And nice. Now let's make another ingot. Okay. Have another ingot. I already forgot what else we need, though. We need ourselves two glass, lubricant, and lead. Okay, so I need to look for my glass and lead. Hmm, 
there. Okay. Perhaps here in storage there might be something. Oh, there's my lead, but I don't have glass. Damn. Hmm. Ah, oh, shut it. No, oh, I could make another beacon if I really wanted to. I don't know. Hmm, okay. Could have made glass. I need two pieces of quartz. Hmm. Make lubricant. Creep on the clusters. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, I need to find quartz. That's what I need to do. I don't have any of that. So, like, let me see. Do I have quartz? I do not believe I do. Would not hurt to check, though. Please tell me I have quartz. Damn it. Oh, great. Let's go on a search for quartz, then. Actually, there might be some in here, maybe. Ah! Bingo. Quartz ain't that hard to find. At least if you know where to look. Oh, but I need two pieces to the last, don't I? Okay. That's all the glass I need. That's about everything. Yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah. All I need is to make a blueprint, which is simple. And a power cell, which I think I might be able to make another battery for. Okay. I don't think I have another creep on the cluster though, so let's go get another one of those. Should be all I need. Let's get ourselves some lubricant. Perfect. Now we just need a power stone. Required to battery. And still so remember which we have. Let me see here. That wait. Got the wrong thing there. Okay, I have a battery, but I need another battery. I think I might be able to make one though. Hmm. Oh, I don't need one though. Okay, battery, battery, battery. Yes, I just need two acid mushrooms. I have plenty of those. I've always had plenty of acid mushrooms and there's plenty around the pod. We need just a couple, I think. Oh man, that thing is really floating away, isn't it? 
Well, screw that, they're about to make a steam off. Bitch. Okay. Nice. Now let's make a power cell. Awesome. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's really all we need. Sweet. Finally I have the CMOS. CMOS is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. I don't care. I'm gonna be safe for now. Alright, give me the CMOS. Captain. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is sick. I'm really gonna have to work on my driving skills. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Pretty good speed, I guess. Okay, what exactly do I need to do now, though? Isn't there like a rebreather or something I can make? Yeah, I mean, I have a wiring kit. I think I also have fiber mesh, actually. Or at least I had the ability to create it. Hold on. Oh yeah, I can make a rebreather. Sweet. Let's do that then. Oh, hold on, I gotta make fiber mesh first. I think this will definitely help. Ooh, did that interfere with the radiation too? I hope not. I really hope that doesn't interfere with anything. Well, I guess we'll find out. Actually, hold on. Okay, so we need to go to iPod 4, and then we also have iPod 19. I think we should go to probably what's the safer option. Uh, what the hell is that? I heard something hit the seam off. Okay, where is iPod 19? Whoa! Okay. I've got to work on my driving skills. Okay. What the hell was that? Damn fish. Oh boy. This is gonna be a task. Jesus Christ. Interesting little thing here. Oh, fuck off. Damn it. Oh my god. Ah! Damn, I'm bad at driving. Oh god, I see the bacterium. Whoa. That's 
deep chin. What the hell? Okay, yeah. That's something. Whoa. What the hell is that? Hang on, I gotta take a look at this. Nothing in there. The sea moth fragment. Somewhere. Nothing in that crate. Okay. What is this thing? This is big. Whatever it is. Fish right in the face. Lovely. There, what do you get in? Oh. I need the laser cutter. Well... Damn. Oh. Ow! God damn it. Alright, let's keep going to the thing here. Maybe. How the hell am I ever gonna get to this? This is deep. Can the sea moth even go down this far? Warning. Maximum uh -oh. range to the damage is unusually low. Cause unknown. I didn't get that. That it right there? That might be it. Hold on. It's gonna be dangerous. Wait, what? Oh, hell no. Wait. What the heck is that? This is interesting. An alien vent. Huh. Whoa. Now, what are you? Lithium. Alright. What's that? 
power of the charger right What is Ow. What the hell is going on? Okay. Guess I'm not getting that. Great. Get you back in the damn sea floor. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'll get the hell out of here. I am in way too deep. I can't do this shit. Well, great. I just want to forget about what I thought 19 for now. So fuck you. You can fend for yourself. Cause I just got this baby built. She can only go down 200 meters, and apparently I can't survive that far down for some reason. This is just terrific. the ability anywhere near to make the Cyclops, right? No. Damn. What all am I missing for that? For the Cyclops? Hmm, oh. I'm still trying to get stuff for the engine. I don't even have stuff for the Cyclops itself yet. Well. Great. <sighs> Alright. Let's see what we got going on. Alien data. Scan data. Alien vent. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The info vent is drawing water from the thrown area, pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Perhaps one of the deeper basins? Warm deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Great. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's what made me have damage to my health. Who knows? People can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Further research required. Great. Great. So what now? I can't go back to the Aurora yet, so I guess try to find Lightpod 4 maybe. 
I really see two options. Go to iPod 4. Or maybe... Go to a mushroom forest. See if we can find diamond for the... Scanner tool. Access upgrades. Oh, I don't really have an upgrade module for CMOS, do I? Unless... Okay, the upgrade module is in here. No, that's for the Cyclops. Damn. Hmm. Great. What do I need for... Builder... thing? I need to make another wiring kit. And a computer chip. And another battery. Hmm. To make a wiring kit, of course, just silver, gear chip, I might be able to do soon, hopefully. And a battery is simple. I'd say maybe, or we can go back to the island. I think maybe we should see about Y Pop 4. At least, that's what I think, maybe. Let's see. A hundred and fifty meters northwest of the Aurora Port midsection. And it's above the surface. Where are the surfaces? Hmm. Okay. I suppose maybe we may have to go around the other side. That is if I can figure out what the right direction is. Oh god. Not again. Wait. Get, what's the damn Aurora? Hold on. I'm so confused right now. Jesus Christ. Kinda of pissed me off that I can't find the damn Aurora. I think we should go around the other side of the Aurora and see if we can try to find Light Pod 4. Actually, it might be smarter to go around this way. Because I fought a Reaper going the back side, so I'm going to go the front side instead. I do need to go back to the Aurora at some point, but I need the laser cutter first, I guess. Maybe we could... I think there might be a mushroom forest along the way. Where the front side is, actually. Yeah, it's making me nervous. I'm gonna go up to the surface a bit. No idea where I'm going. Oh god, I'm going to not a good area here. Wow. This is some weird terrain. Some very weird terrain indeed.
Hmm. Wait, huh? Huh. What was that? Wait a second, what? What the hell? Why pod... It was right here the whole time. What the... Oh my god, no, no, no. How... How could I not have seen this? Nearly had him heart attack. Oh, Nick, it would be youthful. Thank you. What is data? Oh, whoa! Creature decoy. That's interesting. And data. We got iPod 4 though. Screw iPod 19, they can go straight to hell for all I care. Along with that damn Reaper. Both those things go straight to the darkest pits of hell. Never thought I would have to run into that damn thing again. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm ever going back that way again. Maybe not. At least not until I have something bigger. Goddamn Cyclops. And then I can ram that damn thing into the Earth's core. Oh, this is not Earth. So I'll ram it into the core of 4546B. <sighs> Alright. Nothing new on the radio. Great! Hmm, <sighs> a scanner room would be nice. A multi-purpose room, I don't know what that is either. Hmm. Creature decoy. Attract creatures to its location can be deployed by hand or by submarine. Cannot be reclaimed once deployed. Three titanium and a wiring kit. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that right now. Nope. 
first let's take a look at a uh, blueprints, I guess. Equipment. Creature decoy. This advanced deployable in the catch-all solution for mimicking the behavior of a living creature for purposes of scientific research or predator evasion. Vibrates, cycles air and water, and sends out randomized high-frequency sound waves to emulate a living organism. May be hand placed or launched from compatible Cyclops stem range. Short onboard battery provides limited lifespan, attracts predators of all kinds, including the Reaper. And I would say Life Pop 4 probably tried to use these things. And it must have failed, therefore I do not give a damn about these decoys. Speaking of Life Pop 4, let's read or get listen about them. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope oh, scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One yeah, specimen I got attempted that. to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Mm. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Yet yeah, nobody's on that ship, unless they're still behind metal doors. Which could be possible, because I don't know yet. <sighs> awesome. Just... Awesome. You know, this is great. I need to turn that light off. This is just great. <laughs> I can't fucking wait to get another light pod signal. But that'll be soon. Hopefully not one that's hundreds of meters down where I can't find them. Cause light pod 19 can go fuck themselves. I'm not gonna bother. So I would say now we have two options. Go back to the island, or go to a mushroom forest, find some diamond, make the blender cutter, and go back to the aurora. Hmm. Well... I think maybe going back to the island would be a smart choice right now. Whatever the cave kind, definitely not gonna try ever again to go to the mushroom forge, but through by the Aurora. I think there might be one over that way though, somewhere. Last time I checked. Let's go find the island. You know why? Because I don't care. You want to know what I do care about? Getting back to this goddamn island. That's what I care about. Goddamn time. <sighs> hmm, 
but there are more. Maybe they all won't be a waste of time. Copper is useful. Gold is also useful. Trying to figure out where the hell I'm going. Should be getting close to that island. I can really tell now. I'm gonna hope that it's night time. Wait, this might be it. I think this is it. Oh, this is definitely it. I think. Yes, there it is. Never thought I'd ever be. I had to go back to this damn place. Let's go to the thermos. Let's go to the thermos. the way, the true way, to get on the island. Although this just feels like the same place I was at before, so maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. I swear, there's gotta be a way to actually explore this damn island. And not just the fucking base. There's gotta be a way to get up there, right? Huh? Hmm. There's gotta be a way. Aha! I knew I spotted something. I should actually park the team off here. Maybe. Yeah. Let's go get the team off and actually park it there. If I can find it. Oh, damn. What? Where the hell did I park the steam on? Oh. Wait. Jesus Christ. 
all the way over here. Of course it is. Right. Okay. I know exactly what the hell I'm doing. I think. I don't know. We're gonna take the theme around and park it over there. That way we can get to it a lot more easily. Don't want to run to the damn base, though. Man, this thing goes down deep. Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, what the hell? Yo, 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 yo! Yo, chill, yo, chill, yo, chill. Y'all need to chill. Y'all need to chill the fuck out. Close enough for the CMOD, it's fine. So, weird ass teleporting things. Definitely not a pleasure to be around. Not as terrifying as the reaper, but damn near. Well, me fucking thought. Do you think I can do with these rocks? No. Great. Throw you foot. Oh shit. Forgot about these damn things. Did you keep trying to figure out what this place holds? Oh shit. Whoa, there's another way to go down. Damn, this place is like a catacomb. What's that? I'm up here now. What purpose did being up here really serve? Hmm. I don't know. What exactly is the point of coming up here? What's the goddamn point? be a point to all this, right? There's no way there's not some purpose. For all this stuff being here. Hmm. Oh my god. This place looks like a goddamn maze. What are you? Shale outcrop. Huh. <gasps> Diamond. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. Screw out Terra. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. 3 million credits? Oh, damn. But still, I hate you, Altera. You suck. I am one step closer to making the laser car, though. And so that's a 
Good sign. Okay, this is a good thing I'm coming in here. Even though I'm getting lost at all hell. Whoa! Shit. Um. That. That water? Down there? Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna get stuck down there probably. I'm not risking that. But knowing that there are ways to get diamond in the caves of this island. Now that is very useful. Oh my god. I am so fucking lost right now. I've already gone that way. Okay. This is great though. This is really great. If I could find another one of those outcrops, I'll finally make the goddamn laser cutter. And then we can finish exploring the Aurora. And I guess go on to the captain quarters. Hmm. Wait a second. Is that? <gasps> yes. Please. Sink fluid into Lithium. Seriously? I mean, I guess. I don't really know what I can use lithium for, though. Oh, sweet. Please be diamond. Excellent. Yes. I can make the laser cutter now. Awesome. Whoa. What? In Lucella's name. The arch. What is what? Insert ion cube. Let's insert the ion cube, shall we? Yeah. Ah. That's right. I left all my ion cubes back at the pod. And I don't have a beacon. Ooh. Great. Great. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay. I don't know why I keep picking up the lithium, because there's no point. I wish there were more lights in here, but there's not. Well, on the bright side, I can make a laser cutter and go back to the Aurora. Wait. What? This wasn't... This wasn't here. This, I swear. Unless I just never went this way. Which is definitely possible. What are you? Nuclear reactor frag. Do I have the blueprint for that? Oh, I don't even... Oh, wow, it's the first fragment, actually. Interesting. Okay. Let's get back in the sea moths. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's get back to the pod before more of those weird squid assholes come back. Or, God forbid, the fucking Reaper comes. God, I wish this thing was faster. I swear my sea life is faster than this slow ass thing. Ooh, I do not like these sounds. I also have no clue where I am. Yeah, I'm sure I'll figure it out. 
Alright. We are definitely not going to wipe out 19. Hell no. Not today, thing. Not today. Not any time soon. I'm high up right with anything in the near future. For now, we're heading back to the pod. Oh my god, those things can teleport. That makes sense, and apparently they can teleport you as well. Great. That's terrific, you know. Ah, Oh, god damn. No, 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 no. Damn it. Gotta to repair my goddamn Femoth again. I am definitely getting better at driving it. Definitely want to go back to that island. We want to go back to that arch. Apparently, an ion cube powers it in some sort of way. It's like some sort of portal. Oh god. Okay, get the repair tool. Jesus Christ. All right, nuclear reactor. Renewable energy sources will usually be sufficient for maintaining a small outpost. For everything else, there's nuclear power. Powered by up to four replaceable uranium reactor rods. Do not attempt to replace reactor rods without a full radiation suit. Do not attempt to overclock the reactor. Nuclear is ideal for energy-intensive operations, such as self-sufficient colonies supporting more than 20 people, industrial outposts operating multiple docks and heavy machinery. Research stations have live specimens. What the fuck? That's not good. That didn't sound good at all, Altera, you bitches. I have diamonds. I have everything but a battery. That's what I need. A battery. Okay. Yep. 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 Boom! Bitch. Alright. Nice. Nice. 100% power. Awesome. Hmm, okay. Laser cutter, we are able to go back to the Aurora. Awesome! Oh, <laughs> pain the ass. They're nice. I'm gonna run into a new radio message. Cool. It's very helpful though, right now? No, but it's good to know uh, that I have another radio message. It's probably gonna be another light pod. Hopefully not one that's hundreds of meters down. And hopefully one that doesn't have corrupted coordinates like these past to have been. Here's my pod four. Well, here we are. Alright. 
Who never thought I'd have to go back here? Well, no, late. Yes, I did. I have the laser cutter now. Okay. Which is, let's see if I can remember where it actually go. Cause it's definitely been quite some time. Oh yeah, this is definitely looking familiar. Yeah, fuck off. Fun time. Okay, now that we're back. Cargo bay three is where we want to go. I believe we have to go down here. We might be able to find Ah shit. Wait. I think I, I think I might remember how to get over there. It's pretty darn simple. It just requires a little of... Um... Playing with fire, let's say. Perfect. Okay, now that we're back down here, I think... If I remember how to go the right way, we can get to where we haven't before the ship yet. Hold on, I gotta repair this. And then... Wait. I could have opened this door the whole goddamn time. Oh, that's some bullshit. Hmm. Okay, so I can't scan anything here. What exactly do I need a damn laser cutter for, though? What is this? Shumoth Death Module. Ooh. Absolutely, I'll take that. Yeah. That's definitely useful. Um. What else is there in here? Wait. Huh? Um... There... There... There's nothing else even in here. Oh. over this way. I am an idiot. Hold on. There we go. God damn. Alright, let's cut a hole open. Jesus H. Christ, this thing is bright as all hell. My God. Why does this thing have to be so fucking bright? Ooh. Damn. We have the ability to air in here, so that's good. Um. What's that? Ooh, a med kit? Oh my god, that's great, thank you. And data. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, okay, cool, awesome. What the hell is that? A battery? Okay, that's... Great. Um... I 
don't really see any other usefulness in this room. Oh, never mind. There's some more data down here. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, cool. Keep keep up with that. The prawn bay, that's definitely important. Um Disinfected water, that that's nice. Okay. Cool. Um The prawn bay. Do I have the fire extinguisher with me? I do. Okay. Awesome. Let's um let's try using this real quick. Uh okay, so that got rid of some of it. Cool. Um let's repair this door. Whoa! Prawn suits that look broken. Shit. Huh. Okay. What the fuck was that? Oh. Okay. Yeah. That that's cool. Um. Um. Nice. Let me see if I can find... Uh... Shit, what am I even looking for? I have no idea. Um... Maybe I can scan some of this crap. Maybe. Maybe. Nothing there. Prompting fragment, yes! Thank you, God. Nice! There's four fragments. Oh, sweet Jesus. Four goddamn fragments. Oh my God. Same with fire. Not a good idea. Not at all. How about we put out some of these goddamn fires, huh? I can't even get up here. Oh my god. Can I scan you, please? Good. Another fragment of the prawn suit. Cool. Just need two more. Hmm. Side of the hull breach in this room. Okay. One problem. How the hell do I get over this thing? Like that, I guess. Okay. Uh. Let's put out some of the fire. Oh my god, we got like. Two new radio messages. We have a lot to do when we get back to the pod. Jesus Christ. I swear the fire in this place. Um Living quarters. Sweet. Yes, I get that I have new radio messages. Can you 
clean get off my um thing. Canteen. Hmm, what they're scanning with stuff in here. Vending machine. Okay. Interesting. New blueprint acquired. There's data over there, I see. There's posters. Um Ooh. Single wall shelf. Now I guess that's kind of interesting. Uh, bar table? Yeah. And why not? Yeah, thank you. Uh, give me that. Okay. Uh, give me that data. Integrating new PDA data. Another fire extinguisher will be handy. And can I cut this open? I guess not. Okay. Can't go in there. Nice. Alright, um Ah shit. Okay, supply, what we got? Uh, got water. Oh god. I'm running out of room. This is kind of bad. Yep, I'm out. No, well, I don't need any of that crap, so. You know, we can drop that. Um, cool. Probably nothing useful in there. Uh, I guess new train blocks will be useful. A lot of this stuff is useful. No data though. Oh well. Let's see what else we can find. Are any of these two rooms accessible? Nope. Guess not. Might want to put this fire out though. Oh my god, come on. Just put out the goddamn fire. Okay, can I repair it? No, there's nothing I can do. Okay, and this fire extinguisher is, um, empty. I don't think I need two empty fire extinguishers. Awesome, okay. Cool, there's more in here. Let's go in here. Uh, cabin one. Here's cabin three. Ooh, single bed. Huh. I haven't gotten any sleep in this place. New blueprint acquired. Um, a bench? Blueprint acquired. I don't know what those papers are. Can't scan them. I don't think I can pick them up either. No. Hmm. Well, great. Cool, 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 cool. Looks like there's just some things to scan in here. Cabin one. There's a code. Wait. Crap. What was that code again? Two six seven nine. That was the code. Okay. Two six seven nine. Wrong code for this door. Great. Calorie intake recommended. <sighs> Fine. Vital signs stabilizing. Holy fuck. What about this one? Captain's Quarters, this is the one. 
two, six, seven. What we got? Data. Poster. Um. Anything else? More data. Wow. Whoa. Integrating new PDA data. Neptune escape rocket. Shit. Ooh. A miniature Aurora. Why not? Could be uh, kind of useful. No idea how to open up that door though. Maybe I can't. Great. Gotta be a way to open up something here. Got a lot of data though, I will say. Hmm, well, screw it, I don't care. You know what? I wouldn't have to guess, I suppose. One, eight, six, nine. Bingo! Integrating new PDA data. Thank you. Give me that water. Don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, another first aid kit. Why not? Anything in here to scan? Arcade Gorge Toy? The fuck? Okay. Basic double bed. There's some data. Uh -huh. Ah, Listen, crap. I know no. I don't have the right to make demands of you, but ah. No. Zero. Ah, damn it. Integrating new PDA data. I hate that. Alright, I'll figure Vital that out. Signs stabilizing. Just give me a minute. We'll listen to data back at the pod. But in the meantime... Can I get more data? Nice. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Yep. Nice. It's in there. A door bag. Mm, okay. Kinda useless in my opinion, but... Sure. I'll just run through fire like I don't give a damn. Because I really don't. How much space do I have? Still some. Probably wouldn't hurt. Get more batteries and shit. Don't know what that is. Oh no, med kit, yeah. Looks like that's all from in here. Wait, 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 wait. Ha! Another poster. Oh my god. I don't think I can get in here. Oh well. You know what, let's just get out of here. I think we've done our search. Our thorough, thorough search. I think we're good to leave. To leave we shall. I... Oh, I know. Back here again. Ah, the fire is hot. But of course it is. No, I mean, I have the thing right now. Okay, great. Oh, no. Oh my god, I'm so lost. Get me the hell out of here. Good 
big more plinkin' me out here. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh no. Okay. No parents are telling me. Good, 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 good. Let's go. I do not want to deal with another damn parasite. No, thank you. Nah. We have quite a lot of data to look at. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Daytime. Probably uh, re equip the sea lion though. Oh, man. This is something else. Fuck y'all. Okay. Now, where the hell is the sea lion? There it is. Actually, hold on. Do I have enough? I think I, I, think I do. Give me the beacon. I have no need coming back here ever again. Let me back get the hell out before a reaper comes. Oh god. Alright! Sweet. Not that way, Paul. That's the wrong one. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of fast, but I do have a module for the sea moth, thanks to the Aurora. Ah, apparently, I missed an area before. Apparently, I missed an area before that I didn't know was accessible to me without the laser cutter. How wonderful! And it's a long way back to the pod on the bright side I have a bare beacon now. Still it's a really long way back to this pod. Like a really long way. Okay. We got some messages to look at. And let's first drink up a bit. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, let's take a look at some stuff actually first. Uh, so, what do we have here? We have public documents. Altera launches the Aurora. I think I already read that. Let's see what this is. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. 
I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is this still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel possibility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Okay. Uh, responsible autonomous relationship. Forward by Jenny Eckhart. All the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value. Support, motivation, affection, nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It's important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a letter, if a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging their original supplier by changing their purchasing arrangements. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it's performing competitively. There's always room for improvement. Okay, cool. Today's menu. Starter, Space Bear the Loot. Since their introduction to the interstellar vacuum in the 21st century, microscopic tradegrades, or Space Bears, have adapted and flourished where no other life forms have survived. Condensed into a smooth, nutty, protein-rich soup, they are the freshest local ingredient available to travelers on long-haul space flights. Main, cottage pie or nutrient block. Rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy, served with a topping of mashed cheese, potato, picked fresh this morning from onboard grow beds, and a side of sauteed Chinese potato plant leaves. For the time conscious consumer, the usual nutrient block options are available. They may be consumed cold or reconstituted at the on site fabricator. Dessert. Dried fruits and nuts. Unfortunately, a recent accident in Cargo Bay 3 involving the incorrect application of a repulsion cannon in combination with a modified battery charger resulted in the venting into space of all dehydrated desserts. God damn it. Fruit and nuts will be the only available dessert for the next 39 weeks. Again, fuck y'all. I don't think I've read this, did I? Transgov profile Altera Corporation, one of the largest suppliers of base steering technologies and consumer electronics from the Federation. Uh, maybe. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't really care. Let's see what else there is. Altera Alms Pamphlet. Charity is an archaic concept with the realism of today's Alterans has rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most of for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Altera Alms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as a philanthropic beneficence facilitation service promoting synergy between employer and workforce. Double A operates on a lottery system. By investing any number of credits, you will be entered into our prize draw. Larger investments yield higher chances of winning. Your credits will go forward and go toward training unskilled colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and interpersonal skills. The colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge on condition of a minimum contract with one of our investors on completion of their training. Mm. 
Operations Log. Altera HQ lacked recorded transmission. Ooh. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening oh. last recorded transmissions. This okay. is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest base game. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... For more long-range communication, we Okay... Oh, and where's the, um... I know it's in here somewhere. Captain's log. Something for vehicles. Time capsule. I'll figure it out. Uh, okay. Degassi survivors. Altera search and rescue mission. Al Aurora auxiliary mission orders. Mission search and rescue. Target crew of the Mongolian vessel Degassi. Last known position vicinity of plant 4546B. Arondne arm. Contact Mongolian emissary. Jokey Kassar, Aurora Passenger Quarters. I am so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but still, I don't care. Y'all probably all dead. Mission Brief. A Mongolian vessel the Degasi disappeared almost a decade ago, carrying with it a high-ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate insurance and purchase passage aboard the Aurora for Emersary Kassar, and your orders are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degasi crew members without compromising primary mission. Confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altera's diplomatic efforts with Mongolian councils. Mission details. Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver around 4546B Category 3 Ocean Planet, approximately 13 months post-launch. This will bring the ship within range of the Degasi's last position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in the Aurora cargo package for this mission. Degasi crew manifesto has been distributed to senior employees in a separate message. So this is why we came to this goddamn planet. It was for a rescue mission. Of course. It's not what I signed up for. Sweet offer from Huggins to Wilson. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside. Well now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. We playing got something to do till we get Starside to work on the gate, the phase gate. You want to taste the stars? You got only, you've only got to stay. My spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an Astro with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented hand. Wanna play catch with a passing meteor? Come by cabin number one, codes 18, code 1869. Hmm, yeah. That, uh, makes sense. Captain's log. Loading program. Craig McGill, Craig McGill simulator dot VRAT. Size one player Captain Hot Dog Hollister. What? <laughs> Map Boreal 9, resources normal. You are exploring a quiet alien backwater. When the ship you arrived here, when the ship you arrived here in implodes, it must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Search the crash site, farm alien plants. Use the 
tectonic D implode her unavailable. That's just what Craig and McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, we have collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs. Which will you sustain yourself with? Stank root, tree roaches, starwall eggs. Uh, the starwall eggs are nutritious. The life cycle of these vast space fearing creatures is much too close to sustain a farm, and besides, their manner is extremely angry with you. Fight the starwall, follow them through the starwall, or accept your fate. Accept your fate. Craig McGill knows there is no reasoning with a mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and disintegrated. The atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistributed in service of the star wall's continued survival. Would you like to continue, yes or no? And this person picked no. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Nice. Um... Vehicles. Let's start with this. Prawn suit, Mark 8. The pressure reactive waterproof nano suit is a range of mechs designed to protect the pilot from extreme environments. The Mark. Oh, maybe it's the Mark 3. Whoops, my bad. Apparently, I don't know how to read Roman numerals. The Mark 3 is the latest iteration and has so far only been rolled out by Altera. For their own high value phase gate related operations. Hmm. Surprising. The suit is fully insulated from the outside environment. Powerful hydraulic limbs allow for manipulation of objects and powered traversal of the environment. Rear mounted thrusters provide maneuverability in low gravity environments. A range of modifications are available to facilitate resource extraction and enhanced exploration. The prawn suit, it's got you covered. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Neptune Escape Rocket. Let's read about this. This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot for it. It consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform. A floating platform provides a solid base from which to launch the rocket. Gantry. Provides structural support. Stage 1. Primary thruster for reaching out of sphere escape velocity. Stage 2. Fuel reserve. Stage 3. Cockpit. Features. One person life support. Short range communications. Adaptable power supply. Orbital shielding. Onboard time cap. Warning, onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. Warning, the use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. So I guess the Neptune escape rocket is the only way I'm getting off this damn planet. Cool! Um... Time capsule. These sturdy containers are designed to store written and photographic evidence for later retrieval, in addition to a number of small items. Time capsules are often fabricated by marine survivors seeking either to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future, or to leave evidence of their plight, which may be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default, usually found in the cockpit. And be jettisoned on takeoff. Altera requests time capsules be stocked with tools and resources, which will aid those who may discover them in the future. I know what a time capsule is, but thank you, I suppose. Well, that was quite a long-ass read. Okay, let's answer these goddamn messages. This one on made automated distress signals apply okay. pod twelve. Coordinates attack. Warning. Live pod has sucked beyond safe diving distance to signal location uploaded to PDA. Live pod has sunk beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Ah oh, shit.
But wait, wasn't there a second message? Unless I fucking missed that one, which I might have. Hmm. Life pod 12, 250 meters. God damn it. Seriously? Great. Awesome, so we got one life pod that's 300 meters down, and we got another that's 250 meters down. But we do have a depth upgrade module for CMOS, so that should be helpful. <sighs> so much to do.